Well, Sky News can reveal the Greens have accepted a donation from a pastoral company backed by one of South Africa's richest men. Let's go live to Matt Cunningham in Darwin. Matt, this comes despite the Greens claiming they don't take money from big corporations and billionaires. So who is the donor? Well, it's Rallon Australia Proprietary Limited and its property uh, arm, uh, Tom, the Amanzi Property Group. Now, uh, Rallon is actually one of the largest property owners in this country after it bought five cattle stations in the Northern Territory since 2018, worth about $140 billion. It's a subsidiary of Rallon Proprietary Limited, a South African company that's uh, actually controlled by a man by the name of Giovanni Ravazzotti, uh, who Forbes magazine says is worth about four. 4.7 billion rand or about half a billion Australian dollars. Now, on its website, the Greens, uh, they make uh, all sorts of claims about the fact that they don't take money from billionaires or from big corporations, but they do appear to have made an exception in this case. This donation is worth $29,000 in total. Also interesting to listen to Senator Sarah Hanson-Young. Now, she's speaking here at a committee that's looking into uh, the Beedaloo Basin. This is just uh, three months after that uh, donation was uh, was made to the Greens. Uh, Rallon Australia has been in something of a legal battle with Tambor and Resources, a company that's uh, drilling for gas in the Beedaloo Basin. Here's uh, Sarah Hanson-Young questioning Tambor and Resources uh, Managing Director Joel Riddle at that committee hearing in October. Um, you are in a legal dispute with um, Rallon, one of the... Um, pastoral landowners um, and it's been put to to this committee that your um, mode of operandi is legal threats and intimidation. Mm -hmm. We've been told and of course it's it's public knowledge based on the legal dispute that you are in with Raylan uh, that you cut fences mm -hmm. to access the property, fences that are not yours. Mm -hmm that you entered this property without approval? And how is that upholding respectful relationships with stakeholders? I asked uh, Sarah Hanson-Young, Tom, why she hadn't made a declaration about this donation that had made, been made to the Greens by Rallon uh, before she questioned uh, Tamboran about these issues at that Senate committee hearing. She has responded. Uh, she says, I was not aware, nor were my staff aware, of these donations until today. Thank you for bringing them to our attention. I have written to the committee to inform its members and will ensure the matter is noted in the inquiry's report. It's also interesting to note, Tom, how this donation was made. It was split in two, one from Rallon Australia uh, and the other one from the Amanzi Property Group. Each of those donations was for $14,500. Now, as you'd be aware, uh, the Australian Electoral Commission uh, requires individual donations to be declared if they're more than $14,500. Uh, I asked uh, Pierre Langerhoven, uh, the co-director of Rallon Australia, whether the donations had been declared to uh, the Australian Electoral Commission. He said that uh, he uh, would have to check with his accountant. I also asked him about why he donated to the Greens. He said, aren't we allowed? Uh, so it's fine. Uh, OK, thanks. And that was the end of the conversation. But these uh, donations were made public because the Greens have a different system when it comes to declaring uh, the don these donations and one that they probably should be given some credit for. They declare on their website any donation of more than $1,500. So uh, donations that otherwise wouldn't be made public through the AEC uh, can be seen by the general public. So that's how we've been able to reveal that uh, Rallon Australia and its property arm donated $29,000 to the Greens uh, uh, and uh, obviously uh, the Greens now saying uh, through Sarah Hanson-Young that they will make that declaration to the committee that has been looking into these issues surrounding uh, the drilling for gas in the Beedaloo Basin.